Hi everyone, Emma here. Look at this crazy bag. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, so this is my way of challenging myself to make bracelets with two whole beads. That's my excuse for this massive bag. <laughs> oh boy. So let's see if we can get through it in one video. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. They couldn't close the Ziploc. They had to tape it. I just opened it and it's like just spewing out. <laughs> um, just to let you know off the top here, these uh, beads are, the price range is between um, 50 cents and a dollar fifty, most of them being a uh, dollar. So just to so we have these are eight millimeter opaque lava red bronze two hole. They look oh, amazing. <gasps> look at these guys. <gasps> I'm glad I got two. Oh, these are oh they feel really cool too. These are beautiful. They're really shimmery and nice. Wow, they are nice. That's going to make a beautiful bracelet. Lovely. And there's the, see the holes. Awesome. So we'll try and go quickly because this is, we'll never get through this. So we got some bricks. These are cool. I have some of these in like a clear, kind of they look like um, sea glass, the ones I have. And I have used them in um, leather cuff bracelets. I've used them sideways along the side this way. So yeah, they're pretty. That's a beautiful blue color. And then we have uh, checkmates. So I guess I'll be watching a bunch of videos. Let's see how these look. Oh wow! The oh wow! So these are teeny tiny. I was wondering because they, um, I think they sell them by the gram, like. That's how they're measured. And usually they say, you know, 25 to a strand or 50 to a strand. So that's why they're done by the gram. They are teeny tiny. This is lovely. I could do some really nice bracelets with this. You know, I have, I have um, Sue from New Hampshire to thank for my love of two hole <laughs> beads. <laughs> because she sent me this beautiful bracelet. And I am just totally nuts about this square. Now, it's got more than two holes, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and I just love this bracelet. It's so, so beautiful. So, yeah, I'm going to make me some lovely things. So, there's this kind of uh, Pacifica Tangerine 3x6 checkmates. That is lovely. And then I have this is suede gold checkmates. And they are beautiful. I love that finish, the suede. And for some reason, I got to figure out how to use my lentils. I have some other lentils that I got from an Etsy shop. Oh, these are beautiful. They have like a iridescent purple to them. Matte iris blue lentils. They are gorgeous. And then these are, they just say saturated color. They don't, they look like a, a bronze suede bronze maybe <laughs> we are definitely not getting through this 
Oh my gosh. And this is one of the orders that I was like, where is this? It's like I've been waiting and waiting. So these are lentils as well. And they are transparent or yeah, transparent topaz pink number two. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Oh, oh, they are lovely. And, oh, these are really nice. Oh, wow. Those are gorgeous. Let's see what that says. Pearl Coat Charcoal. Ooh. That is lovely. This has got to be teal of some sort. Indigo. Polychrome Indigo Orchid. <laughs> That's a lovely name. Oh, it's so beautiful. We've got Suede Gold again. Opaque Baby. It's probably baby blue. It's just... Uh, so these ones here were a little more expensive, and I really wanted them. I think they were $1.50 a tube. These are the Crescent. So I really wanted to do some work with these. I've seen some videos. Oh, yeah. Look at these. These are lovely. Wow. And we got some metallic green aqua teal they're called. They're beautiful. I do need a new way to organize my stuff. <laughs> it's getting a little crazy. Oh, okay, these are the squares. I had quadra tile, six millimeter. I had been waiting. <laughs> Drooling over the bracelet that Sue sent me. These are gorgeous. Lovely. I wonder what the color teal quadra. Even the name is cool quadra. I'll meet you in the quadra. Past Saturn. <laughs> well, look, I actually have these. Now that I think of it, this is what started my obsession. Some of these were like fifty cents, so. This one is uh, brown iris. This is really nice. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, I threw one of my strands in my bin. It's going in the garbage. That's not good. Atlantis Green Luster. Ooh, I have to show you this one. Oh, that are nice. Wow. <laughs> the bag's in the way for my lamp. That's so bad. Oh, these, I am just blown away. You know, in the past, something this tiny, I would have been like, what the heck am I going to do with that? I can't even see it. <laughs> Where's the holes? <laughs> They're lovely. I can't wait to use them. I know I'm going to be able to use these in some really exciting designs. And the fact that they're tiny is even better because... I can do some really gorgeous bead weaving with it. Uh, 
this is Twilight Topaz. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Don't look, Emma. Don't look, Ethel. Edith. Every time I look at the bag, I'm like, oh, this is never going to happen. Luster tran Transparent Topaz Pink. And this definitely looks better than what it's displaying on the screen. You can really see this luster on it. The more these checkmates. That is lovely. Wow. I'm already designing in my head. I'm looking in the bin where I'm setting them and going, oh, maybe if I took those beads and these ones, so there's some more checkmates, and these are red and transparent, and they're a beautiful deep color. That is awesome. Here's a ruby lentils. Checkmates. These are the it says checkmate on here, but the picture is the crescent one. And some more quadra tile. These ones are metallic suede dark forest. Maybe we should skip the names. <laughs> this is, we're never going to get through this. These are some more crescents. Yeah, if if you really need a name, just pause the video. <laughs> Maybe you'll be quick enough to read it. These are, okay, quadra lentils. Ooh, so there's four holes. Look at that. That is awesome. Wow. They are pretty too. Wow. My brain is going to explode. <laughs> I'm sure yours is too. You're like, oh, Emma, stop, stop. I do have lots of bracelet videos. This is funny. This is like half a strand. Look. Somebody stole the other half. It, it sometimes happens that there's only half. They usually say something about it. I may look into that. <laughs> At this point, really, do I care? <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. Indigo with Picasso finish. Aha! That's my jam. That's my jam. I like me some Picasso. Let's see if I can show you. It's kind of hard. It's dark. We're already at 14 minutes. We're not going to get through this. This is a two-parter. Okay. Suede gold light beige. These are those bricks. Oh, gee. Okay, more lentils. <laughs> like... What was I thinking when I ordered all this? Oh, these are beautiful. What is the color on this? Olive Picasso. I don't know what it is about the Picasso. I just love it. I need to uh, take a run to the thrift store and see if they have any more of those clear plastic uh, shelving units. 
I managed to get one of them I think is um, is an organizer for files but it works really well for the long tubes of like these double tubes that I have this is gorgeous this is like an olive yeah and um, so I have one that's short and I think it was like a display in a, uh, a store that had um, nail polish and it fits perfectly for my beads There's, this is like a tortoise shell But yeah, all these tubes, I'd like to have them standing up. Oh, look at these. Oh, these are amazing. Pacifica poppy seed. So I guess this is a brand. They call them Checkmates. And these are Cabochon 7mm. Oh, we have to open these. Oh, man, I'm losing beads already. Oh, these are gorgeous no way so it's got this gorgeous blue underneath and this kind of speckled gold polish like an antique that is gorgeous these are lovely 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 Yeah, one of my beads got loose. Let's see. One of these good ones. I don't want to lose them. Oh, my thumb miss. So when I called and talked to um, the surgeon's secretary, I made sure to put it on thick. My thumb's really sore. The injection didn't help. Oh, these are beautiful. It's that suede olive finish. Ooh, some more of these. I love this color. It's a, a red, deep red with a Picasso. And we have to... Oh. Look at these. Oh, they look like semi-precious stones. They're so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. They are gorgeous. Wow. I'm so glad I got two of these. They're hard to fit in here. These are gorgeous. And some more squares. Oh, wow. These are lovely. Look at that. They're so amazing. This is uh, suede gold milky pink. Just beautiful. Some of these bricks. And some more quadra tiles. And these are <laughs> I have to open this. These are iris purple. Look at this. I'm not gonna believe that they are gorgeous. So beautiful. Okay, let's take a look. This is more of these bricks. And that's gorgeous uh, metallic blue. Lovely. It's 
too bad they use so many of these bags. I really, these are gorgeous. <laughs> I threw the bag away already. Oh, we need the color for these silly ones. They, uh, I don't think this is the ones. Gold Smoky Topaz. I don't think that's it. Doesn't say. But they're pink. Like a rose gold. I have some beads that match these. And this is even prettier than the beads. Wow, the finish on this is stunning. Look at that. That's beautiful. Some more of these uh, checkmates. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I apologize, I'm a little distracted just now. My wife and I have been having issues sleeping, so we've been staying up pretty late. So we tried to do a reset today and got up early, so she just got up. She had a nap after our walk today. This is gorgeous, the red. Oh, quadratile! So yeah, she. Um, I just wanted to make sure she was okay. Oh my god, look at these guys. Okay, before I throw the bag away, it doesn't say. Some of these don't say the colors. Look at these are like craziness. These are so beautiful. Oh yeah, this is so going into a bracelet. You know, it's funny. When I first saw um, lentils, I really, something about the shape that I really like. And, but I didn't know what to do with them. I bought a bunch and then it was like, what do I do with these guys? This one's opaque red black Picasso too. And uh, now that I have them and I know how to do bead weaving, I can totally figure out how to incorporate these. These are beautiful, beautiful. Peach Echo, and these are those um, crescents. Okay, there's the, the symbols right there showing it. They are lovely. Somebody had fun, play, you know, doing this order. Probably as much fun as I had placing it. Sometimes it just gives me a headache. But the time to get these is when they're on sale for like 50 cents because later when you really need them, then you've got to consider, okay, how much do I place an order for because I don't want to uh, pay shipping for, you know, three items kind of thing. These similar quadratiles, these are gorgeous. Do we come those colors? These are amazing. Oh, they're going to be so nice. And some more lentils. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, some more crescents. Oh, wow. Look at these. The iridescent. Oh, they have like a beautiful kind of coppery luster on them too. Wow, that's gorgeous. And some like hematite kind of finish. Some more cabochons. 
these. Uh -huh. Look at that. Seven millimeter. Beautiful. I'm thinking this is going to be a two-parter. Oh, these are gorgeous. Pink with like a coppery luster on them. These are really interesting. And some more crescents, and they're gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, wow. These are like a bluey. There's one black one in there. These are lovely. Let's see what we can grab. Oh, look at pink quadratiles. Looks like there's two bags of these. I should have taken these out of the bags before. But I wanted to do it so that it was like a true unboxing. These are beautiful. Oh, look at these. <laughs> okay, we have a bunch of these in here. I'm just going to pull these out. There's a bunch of those. I knew that I was going to be nutty over those guys. Oh, look at that. This is the rose gold. So somebody was asking me if, um, like, what I do with all this stuff. And I do, um, if I haven't already told you, I do private parties in people's homes. And basically, you know, you contact me if you want to have a party um, and you tell me what it is you're looking to make. If you have any idea, if not, I give suggestions and then I give a um, suggestion with different bracelets you can make. Mostly uh, malas for meditation and um, leather wrap bracelets. But now that my repertoire has uh, expanded, I can definitely make do workshops for other things. And um, so I, I used to do as many people as you wanted to, but I started limiting, limiting it to four people because... Um, I find that about half the people understand the instructions and move on and get their bracelet done very quickly. But then the other half I find have difficulty and I mean it's understandable. They've never made anything like that. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at that. Unbelievable. Gorgeous. I can't get over some of the colors. So, um... Yeah, so I limit it to four people, but uh, so sometimes it's a Sunday afternoon or uh, uh, Friday evening or Saturday night, you know, girls night out kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. They have like, it's just like a party. There's snacks and <laughs> beer and wine, mostly wine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. And they love it. People just think it's amazing. So here's some more. These are gorgeous, these tiles. Another Picasso, all of Picasso. And some quadra lentils. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Remembering the names. So yeah, that's what I do. So it definitely helps if I have a lot of 
supplies and colors to choose from. I also, I have these big cases. I think they used to be like cardiac monitor cases. And they're huge, huge, like a, like a, um, about the half of the size of a hockey bag. But they fit perfectly over my shoulder. And there's, these are beautiful. These are milky sapphire. Oh my goodness, these are stunning there's like a rainbow luster on them that you can't really see there you can kind of see on the edges um yeah so i fill it up with all kinds of supplies and often what happens like i will have kits ready to go for people to make their stuff and um but then I bring extra and there's always people buying stuff because the only place we can buy stuff here is Michael's. There's, we used to have a bead store and it closed down and there's none now. So, and there's some bars and they are beautiful. So yeah, so that's what I'm hoping to do with this when things get back to normal. And things are so small town here that uh, word of mouth is all I do. And because my name is unique, the spelling, um, I just say just look me up on Facebook. And everybody has Facebook on their phones now. So if I'm talking to somebody and they say, oh, well, just tell me your name. And they type it in and they go, okay, here. And I they like it and whatever. So then they contact me through e Facebook and say, yeah, I want to organize a party. And this and that. So. Yep. That's what I do. And I'm sure there's a lady down the road that teaches yoga. She has a yoga studio in her house. I'm sure when things get back to normal, she will have me over to do a workshop. I've done some for her before and I've done collaborations with her where we we did a combined chakra bracelet and meditation together and uh, yeah it's a lot of fun and I think we had some of these We're going to get through this. I can't believe it. And some more quadra tiles. Oh, wow. These are gorgeous. Oh, these are wild this gray i love it that is really cool oh these are beautiful too umber copper picasso wow these are beautiful wow like an antique copper. Jet Picasso bar. And I have seed beads with this Jet Picasso and all kinds of other beads. So that'll be lovely to do up something, do a men's bracelet with that. It's a pretty popular color. These are gorgeous. Wow. Those are delicious. see the copper until you turn it that's a figure out a way to use these so you get this 
copper forward so you can see it. Wow, is there? <laughs> Don't look at all. Okay, so these are apricot AB eight millimeter. I've been dying to get these guys. I remember ordering them and thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to make such a beautiful bracelet. Look at that. Is that ever wild? That is so cool. These are really pretty. Oh, and these ones. Metallic gold chili beads. Oh, that's crossed off from five to three. I might leave these in the bag. <laughs> Dump them in. <gasps> oh, these are cool. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'm going to make some really cool stuff with this. Angle things for a bracelet and for a necklace. Kind of like the um, the drop daggers that I did, only this way. They'll come down and we can put them on an angle. These are beautiful. Mm, got some of these. Gorgeous. Look at that. These turquoise. Can you tell? <laughs> I like turquoise. Oh, I bought them all. Let's see some turquoise here. Oh yeah. <laughs> these guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Seven millimeter turquoise. Yummy. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, look at these. Wow. Look at this. Ta da! So we've we come. Oh, these are the quadratiles. And these are coral pink. These are bar tubes. And some more bars. Oh, these are pretty. These are three holes. They call them beam, ten by three millimeter. That is cool. Some quadra tiles. And some more bars. Transparent champagne. Oh, these are the crescents. Beautiful. I'm running out of room. I better put another container out here. Oh, these look lovely. These beige Celsian quadra tiles. These are beautiful. Oh, yeah, look at these. 
I thought we came across these already. It's Picasso Red. Oh, it's different. And we've got some Picasso Jet. They are lovely. The um, lentils that I bought, I paid, I think, that I bought before, I paid something like $3 a strand. More, three something. So that's why I went nuts when these were like between 50 cents and a dollar. more beams these are beautiful oh my gosh these are <laughs> crystal a b quadratiles look at them they're amazing Let's see how they're turning pink Milky, oh my gosh, what is this? Milky Alexandrite Antique. <gasps> what? Look at how beautiful these are. We have to pause to look at these for sure. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, look at this. Wow. These are incredible. They are so beautiful. Wow. Oh. <laughs> They're flying everywhere. Wow, I can't get over how tiny they are this is amazing oh I'm putting these aside this is gonna be my first one <laughs> I'm gonna have about 10 firsts you know that right ah. there's some more crescents It's the opaque purple bar. Metallic suede. Some of these look familiar. I think the color, oh, these are really bright, sparkly. I think some of these colors are just like slight variances. Didn't say what color it is. Gold green turquoise. Ooh, we have to look at those. <gasps> look at that. Like little worms. That's so funny. You know, I was thinking maybe that's why I like these the way they're strung. They like they're like worms. When I was a kid, I was fascinated with worms. So I did a study on worms. <laughs> When I was about eight years old. <laughs> yeah, I was one of those weirdo kids. <laughs> yeah, I remember writing a paper on it and everything. And the teacher was like, 
Where did you come from? Are you from another planet? <laughs> I'm like, no, they're fascinating. They study, um, these are beautiful. Luster green. They study the um, earthworms nocturnal, uh, uh, the internal clock because they come up out of the soil and stuff like that. <laughs> You're still <laughs> not getting it. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, Emma. Talk about something interesting like beads, not worms. These are beautiful. They're so gorgeous, the luster on them. Wow. We have some gray. I feel like we've gone through these ones already, but maybe it's because there's gray ones of these guys. And these are the bricks. Ta -da. Oh, these are lovely. Polychrome indigo orchid. take me years to organize this. I feel like we've come across this one before. Nope, Halo Cardinal. That's quite the name. Wow, these are beautiful. Lovely. Beautiful. Just tell me if we if you've seen this already. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these guys. Okay, this is like you can't really tell in the package. We need to keep this out. <laughs> oh this one's like over full, the cap was barely on. I won't take too many out, but it's hard to really see. I don't know if you can see that shine. It's like those pink ones, only it's turquoise. Yeah, that's not going to stay on. You have to be careful with those ones. And these are lovely metal amethyst bars. See, here's some more Picasso red Picasso lentils. Is it a darker? Umber. Yeah, it is darker. Beautiful. You'd never know I placed the order. <laughs> I'm like, what's this color? I've never seen that before. How do they send me doubles? <laughs> Oh, these are beautiful. Apollo, wow. Some more bars, and this I think is the rose gold. No, luster opaque. I've got some beads that go with this, so this will be nice. These ones are beautiful. It doesn't give a color. Let's see if it's on here. Peach Echo. Yeah, I thought it was a peach. And Pacifica Tangerine. So that name sounds familiar. And then we've got Flamingo. Oh, this looks like bubblegum. Look at that. Coat Flamingo. 
That is so beautiful. And then we have this one. Oh, this is interesting. This one is Opaque White Tortoise. That is really lovely. Wow. And last but not least, we have Candy Bead Strand Capri Gold. Gold Capri. And <laughs> look at these guys. Oh, those are beautiful. That's what they look like on the other side. Wow. There we go. So let's see if I can show you what we got going on here. There's the craziness. And that's not all of it. There's there's some in the corner there. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this wasn't too boring. If it was, um my bad and maybe you should fast forward. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> this is my stash. Just think there'll be lots of videos of all these loveliness getting made into awesome bracelets. Keep us busy through the winter. Take care, everybody. Bye.